Alka. My name is Dr. David Breckner, and I'm the Executive Director of the Imperial Valley Desert Museum. Today, we're going to speak to you about the Kumeyaay people and share with you one of their creation stories. Before we start, here are some of the words we are going to be learning today. Those words include Kumeyaay, Lake Kauia, Salton Sea, Iwa, and Oya. We'll be learning more about these words as the video goes on. Let's get started. Kumeyaay. Firstly, who are the Kumeyaay? The Kumeyaay are one of the region's many indigenous peoples who called Southern California and Imperial Valley home long before modern times. Now, what does that mean? To be indigenous or native means that you are originally from a certain place. The Kumeyaay are sometimes called the first people because they've always been here, and new evidence proves their history as a part of the first groups of peoples in the Americas. The Kumeyaay had their villages in different places, near the ocean, mountains, desert, rivers, and here in Imperial Valley, along with the shores of ancient Lake Kauia. Lake Kauia, Salton Sea. Here we have a map. Do you see the orange highlighted part? All of that is traditional Kumeyaay land. They have lived here for over 10,000 years in Imperial County, San Diego County, and Baja Mexico, across areas that include mountains, desert, rivers, lakes, and the ocean. The Imperial Valley used to be all underwater. The blue highlighted part on the map shows the size of ancient Lake Kauia at its largest. During that time, the lake was full of fish. The Kumeyaay would gather these fish to feed their family. This huge lake dried up and disappeared over time because of the hot sun. Now, what is left in the area where Lake Kauia once stood is known as the Salton Sea. Iwa. What do you think the traditional Kumeyaay home looked like thousands of years ago? Think about the house you live in today and what it looks like. The Kumeyaay lived in dome-shaped houses like this called iwas. The base was made out of willow branches and covered with leaves from different plants to protect them from the sun and the rain. Now that we know a little more about the Kumeyaay, let's look at the way they lived. Think about the tools you have at home. Tools like a hammer, a screwdriver, a rake, and a broom. The Kumeyaay used the natural resources around them because that is all they had. They used materials like wood, plants, rocks, shells, and bone to provide tools for hunting, chores, and protecting their families. Important tools for the Kumeyaay were the arrow and arrow shaft straightener. Arrows made from local arrow weed were used for hunting. Over time, the arrows would become bent. Arrow shaft straighteners made from soapstone were used to remove the bend so the arrows could fly straight once again. Oh, yeah. Behind me, we have one of my favorite parts of the museum. Do you know what these things are? We refer to them as Oyas. What do you think they may have been used for? The Kumeyaay used Oyas for storing water, food, and other items, as well as for cooking. Oya is a Spanish word for pots, but the Kumeyaay used different words, calling them Ascai and Sakai. Think about your favorite type of food. Is it a meat, fruit, or vegetable? What do you think, Ramses? What do you like to eat?
since the Kumeyaay lived in many different areas, they had access to many different types of food that they could eat. The Kumeyaay ate large animals like antelope, mountain sheep, and deer. They also ate small animals like rabbits, mice, squirrels, chipmunks, raccoons, and wood rats. They ate certain types of birds, reptiles, insects, and even fish. They also ate wild nuts, agave, yucca, cactus, fruits, berries, and wild squash. Let's talk about families. Does everyone in your family have different jobs and chores that they help out with? How about you? Do you help by cleaning your room or maybe helping to take care of pets? Everyone has a role. The Kumeyaay men would hunt to help provide food for their families. The women would make baskets, help cook, and raise the children. Children would help gather plants and food. When everyone in a family unit helps, it helps make life easier for everyone else. Families also helped other families, like neighbors, building a stronger community for everyone. Thank you all for hanging out at the Imperial Valley Desert Museum today. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Kumeyaay and the way they live as much as I enjoyed teaching about them. Now I will be reading a traditional Kumeyaay story about how the world was created. As you listen to the story, think about how it relates to other stories you have heard. See you next time. A long time ago, when the world was covered with water, two brothers lived deep down in the earth. Each had a special animal to keep him company. The older brother had a badger, and the younger brother had a soft, yellow-haired desert kit fox. The older brother wanted the fox, but the younger brother would not give it to him. One day, older brother suggested that they go to the top of the world to see what was there. Clutching badger, he took a deep breath, closed his eyes, and up through the green water he went. When he reached the top and looked around, all he saw was water everywhere. Young brother wanted to see the top of the world too. How do I get through the water, he called. And older brother told him, you open your eyes and swim to the top, but you will need to use your hands, so I will hold on to your fox for you. Younger brother passed his fox to his brother and opened his eyes and swam upward. When he reached the top, the green water had made him blind. He asked for his fox, but older brother handed him the badger instead. When younger brother stroked the animal, he could tell it was not his fox. When he asked for the fox, older brother was so angry, he went back through the water to his home. He lives there even today. When he walks around or moves in his sleep, the earth above shakes. After younger brother left, older brother was all alone and he started thinking, I don't like so much the water around me. I need some land. So he thought about it until he got an idea. He called to the red ants living below and told them to carry up some earth. The ants did this, piling up the earth until the water moved away. Next, older brother decided he needed some light. He took a piece of white clay to make the moon and threw it into the eastern sky. But it was not bright enough so then, he took a piece of yellow clay to make the sun and threw it into the sky near the moon, and the sun shone brightly. Older brother liked the land and the lights, but he was lonely, so he took more clay and made all the animals. The animals sat around him in a circle and kept older brother company for a while, but they did not want to work. So older brother decided to make people from the same clay as the animals. First he made a man, and then he made a woman. Then he made many people, but only Indians. The animals and the people all lived together with older brother. And that is what happened when the world began.